In this video tutorial, we're going to learn the differences between user memberships and listing packages. Memberships are connected to your website users and used to limit access to your website pages and content. Let's say for example, you want a users to pay to join your website or you want to stop some users from reading messages or sending messages to other users. You can do this with memberships. By creating different membership packages, you can create different pricing options, each with their own access options. Memberships can also be used to limit how many ads users can create on your website. However, they cannot be used to limit individual ad features. This is the job of listing packages. Listing packages are connected to your website listings. They are used to control the display elements on each individual listing, such as how many photos can be included, which category it's displayed under, if it's a feature listing, can be seen on your homepage, etc, etc. With listing packages, you can set up custom pricing for each individual listing and even charge extra for add-ins, like feature listings or homepage placements. It is not recommended to use paid listings and paid memberships together. This can be confusing for your users. Instead, we recommend you choose either a pay per listing setup where users would pay separately for each listing they create, or a pay per membership setup where they can purchase a single membership and create multiple listings under their membership. Let's say, for example, you want to charge users to access your website and create X number of listings. Simply delete your listings packages, set the default settings for all new listings under the Listings, Listing Settings tab, and then set up membership packages as normal. But remember to enable force memberships to require users to pay for a membership first. For a paper listing setup, ensure you have disabled memberships under the user memberships tab and create listings packages as normal. Remember, if you do not want to charge users to add listings, simply delete the listing packages and all new listings can be created for free. If you found this video useful, please let us know by liking and subscribing so we can keep making new videos for you. Thank you.